the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to our Mass this morning at St. Mary Kelston. Today is the commemoration of St. Anthony of Padua, or if you live in Portugal, St. Anthony of Lisbon. I remember visiting the church in Lisbon, which has a relic of him. He was a renowned preacher, uh, especially against the Albigensian heresy and the church dedicated to him in Lisbon has his tongue preserved as a relic. But we know him more commonly as Anthony of Padua. He was first an Augustinian monk, but was so impressed by the Franciscans that he became a Franciscan himself and met St. Francis of Assisi. He is renowned as a preacher, a doctor of the church now. Mass is offered this morning for the church and the community in St. Maud's. The little church in St. Maud's is dedicated to St. Anthony. If you visit that little village, I would urge you please to go in to the church. It is normally, in normal circumstances, always left open and is a building we purchased some time ago from another think the Bible Christians or the Methodists. So it has a history of the building, but now is very firmly a Catholic church. I have the privilege of saying Mass there once a month. It now belongs to Truro Parish, but at one time was looked after by our own parish of Bond. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away from sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost hearts. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony to your people, as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. of the year, Saturday, a reading from the first book of the Kings. Leaving Ben Horeb, Elijah came on Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was ploughing behind twelve yokes of oxen, he himself being with the twelfth. Elijah passed near to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen and ran after Elijah. Let me kiss my father and mother. Then I will follow you, he said. Elijah answered, Go, go back, for have I done anything to you? Elijah turned away, took the pair of oxen and slaughtered them. He used the plough for cooking the oxen, then gave to his men who ate. He then rose and followed Elijah and became his servant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. 
O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Send my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your law. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have learned how it was said to your ancestors, You must not break your oath, but must fulfil your oath to the Lord. But I say this to you, Do not swear at all, either by heaven, since that is God's throne, or by the earth, since that is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, since that is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your own head either, since you cannot turn a single hair white or black. All you need say is yes, if you mean yes, no, if you mean no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is compassion and love and listens to our prayers. Let us approach him with confidence, that we may reverence God's holy name and lead quiet and holy lives. We pray that all members of the church may cultivate fidelity and trustworthiness and edify others by the truth of their lives that the church leaders and teachers and all the faithful pay close attention to the demands of the gospel and ever strive to become its true disciples, and that we may help our people to be positive and hopeful and to uphold Christian values by their words and deeds. Graciously help us, Lord, in our need, and hear our every prayer that we may devote ourselves to serving you in freedom and in gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
may the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Anthony be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of St. Anthony you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and one for giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anthony, St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Savior's command was born by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of 
your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Ponders the law of the Lord day and night, will yield its fruit in due season. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those who feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of Blessed Anthony they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
One important notice, then, Mass on Monday, the live-streamed Mass, will be at 11.30 instead of 9.30. I have to take my car for a service to Red Roof at 9 o'clock and won't be back by 9.30 for certain. So Mass 11.30 on Monday instead of 12, instead of 9.30. And of course the uh, YouTube upstream will consequently be later. Tomorrow is Corpus Christi, a great celebration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mass here as usual, live stream at 9.30. The 13th of June today, um, for those who are Fatima devotees will remember it's the second appearance of Our Lady at the COVID era. The children were trying, well, were being persuaded by their parents not to go because St. Anthony of Lisbon is the patron saint of Fatima Parish Church and it is a great festival in the village. And so the children's parents thought they would tempt them to come to the festa there rather than go to the Coba on the ground that they might see some vision or other. But the children were adamant and went to the Coba and My Lady appeared for the second time. 